there, Monster Gardeners. Today, we are gonna be showing you an innovative, new, and very unique product to our marketplace. It is the Iconic 624. This is a lot different from any of those other controllers that you have seen out there on the market these days. For starters, it comes with two all-in-one sensors. So this is, has a photo cell. It can detect humidity, CO2 levels, temperature, all in one convenient easy to use box. You'll notice a lot of controllers come with one remote sensor. This one allows you to do two because it has two banks of four controllers basically. So you can see that there's four plugs on either side. So essentially you could either control four lights in two different rooms and have them both on at the same time unlike flip box. Or you can use this box as a controller for multiple light banks. You do that by plugging your trigger cord into the 110 outlet here. So essentially you can have it set up so that you have these four banks controlling one room, these four banks controlling another room, or you can use all eight banks to be controlling one large grow facility, like you guys in Colorado. What this means for a lot of people is that you have the ability to run multiple light lights from a single location, but wait, it gets better. This particular unit has the ability to put a USB card in there. So you can program it, remember your program, or program it remotely from their cloud spot, plug it into here, and then you can automatically update your program. It also has an ethernet port so that you can periodically do uploads or link it directly to a laptop or computer. You can receive periodic updates on your phone telling you exactly the conditions at a glance what's going on inside your room humidity temperature co2 whether the lights are on and off if you have it set up in two banks it'll tell you what's going on in one room and what's going on in the other room all at just a glance of your phone this will allow you to not actually physically have to be at the location to control things such as co2 and humidity you can actually do it with just a touch of a button from your iphone um, they have multiple plans on the cloud which is uh, in, as encrypted and safe as it could be they do not share your information at Link4 that's just there for uh, helping other people to program their lights and to maybe even use the same program that you're using because you can upload that to cloud. Uh, there are a few programs on there already, I'm told, but you can always feel free to make your own. Uh, it's really easy to access. You just need an app on your phone and then you can automatically access the cloud. You have the ability to be away from your growth space and still have that level of control and automation that you normally would only get if you were there yourself. It can control pumps, it can control fans, it can control CO2, all of those things because it has the sensors and because it has the multiple programs. Because you're recording the data for your entire run, you can find out where peaks are in humidity spikes down in CO2, all of these things that affected maybe, you know, this crop it seemed like maybe they had a little bit more of a mildew issue or there wasn't enough air circulation or something like that. Well, you can change that. You can go look through your program and say, okay, obviously I need a little bit more air circulation there because this was happening. So maybe instead of having my fan come on every 15 minutes, I should have it come on every five or every 10. You have the ability to control it in very minute capacities like this. I believe up to 15 second settings. So that can, uh, may not make a lot of sense for somebody who's running a bunch of fans or something like that, but if you're doing like a top feed system or you're doing ebb and flow and you need the pump to run for a very specific amount of time, this is the controller for you because it's going to be able to manage that. This does need a dedicated hardwired source uh, in order for it to work properly. It is only on a 15 amp fuse and that's why you would need to plug the trigger cord into there because obviously it's not capable of kicking uh, multiple thousand watt ballast. At only 15 amps, I think you'd have a real big problem. Uh, so that would be the way that you would do you would do 240 with this 120 controller is that you would take your uh, eight light controller, four light controller, six light controller, whatever it is that you have, and you plug the trigger cord into here and then the 240 ballast cord into your into your eight light controller. Did I mention the fact that this is built right here in the United States of America in California, no less? So for all you uh, go local, stay local, buy local guys. For a lighting controller, it really doesn't get more local than that. I mean, 90% of the other ones on the market, let's face it, they are made in China. And they probably don't use products or wiring that looks this good. I mean, look how clean that is. That is very nice. I've looked inside other controllers before. None of it made any sense. There's wires crisscrossing all over the place. This is simplicity at its best to do a very complicated job. One of the features that we really feel is great about this product is that it gives you the freedom to leave your grow space and actually be able to do things like, say, I don't know, go on vacation. 
Uh, so many people have to have somebody babysit their room, and if they don't have somebody to do that, then it's either downtime or you're just kind of leaving it to chance. One of the coolest parts about this is let's say your room gets hotter than your set point. Let's say you have to set it 78, 79 degrees. This will actually send a warning to your iPhone to let you know, hey, it's hot in there. And you have the ability to force a shutdown so that everything can have a chance to cool off. Now, before everything come back, comes back on, it's gonna hit that set point that you have it set at. And this has a soft start feature in it built in already, so it's not gonna immediately just kick your lights on. I wanna show you, this is actually my first time ever looking at this, at this app in particular here. And I wanna show you guys exactly what we have going on here. So this is my first time ever looking at this app. There we go, this is zone one. It says it's daytime in there. The temperature is 74, almost, set, almost 80 degrees. CO2 is at 552 parts per million and the humidity is set at 44.7%. Here we have zone two. It is nighttime in zone two, 76.3, 652 parts per million, because let's remember now plants respire at nighttime, and the humidity is at 42.7%. It says the outside temperature is 78.5 degrees. That's amazing. So this is gonna tell you the equipment status in zone one and two. Light is on, CO2 is on, AC is off, heater is off. Those are your four plugs there. Then we have zone two. Dehumidifier off, alarm is off, the light is off, the AC is off. So everything's cool in room one and room two. You scroll down, how easy is this? Look, you have your set points. So you click on your set points, you look on there, you can change your heat. The cool temperature, humidity, dehumidity, CO2, for both sides. Amazing. Time delay. Right now the time delay, is should it go off at the start of time or the end of time, you're gonna have an eight minute and 30 second delay right now. Awesome. So let's go ahead and go back to the last one we were looking at there. Equipment options, notifications and alarms, history, graphs. This is gonna show you exactly what's been going on in your room throughout the entire run. You can graph power usage, you can graph temperature, you can graph all of those things and it'll actually show you in real time what you've been doing. Now this is something that I really like is this notification and alarms. So you can enable email notifica notifications so that if anything should go out of parameters or there's an emergency of any sort, you send it to your email. How simple is that? Really, really smart. So I feel like uh, this is a controller that even somebody like me can use and really have that peace of mind, especially when you're not necessarily in the grow room. Previous Iponic uh, releases prior to this one, you actually had to buy the communication module separately so that you would be able to integrate into your phone. This one, it comes with it already, which is a great feature. We really feel like it adds a lot of value to the product. So if you check out the website, I'm sure you'll agree that this controller has a very attractive price point. Um, already we're having questions about these from you know people in Colorado, Washington, California, and beyond. And we really think this is a great solution for those people that want to maintain a certain level of automation within their garden and uh, control without actually having to be in their garden. So we highly recommend this to the person who uh, wants to spend more time with their family maybe and less time in their garden. Definitely a good idea to check this one out. So this is the Iponic 624. Great product. Available at monstergardens.com. Come check it out. Have a nice day.